Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can add the auto prefixer processor to your post CSS so that way you could get started forgetting that a prefix even ever existed. So let's get going on that right now. So in this video, we're finally going to get to see exactly why post CSS is pretty amazing. So we're going to do that by showing you auto prefixer, which is a package that I've been using on every single project I've been starting uh, for the past year or so. I mean, it's it's been a long time for me to think when was the last time I used a mix in for a uh, CSS three property and needed uh, prefixes or even just had to write a prefix myself. So it's it's been amazing to be able to to use auto prefixer. So let's come in here and really what we need to do is add auto prefixer hyphen core to our project. And we can do that simply by saying npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev and then auto prefixer hyphen core. Okay, so now we should have auto prefixer core in our project. Let's go ahead and add it to our gulp file here. We can do so just simply by having auto prefixer is equal to and then requiring auto prefixer hyphen core, just like you're probably used to doing by now. Now the easy thing would be to simply just add auto prefixer to this array of our processors. We can do so simply just by saying comma auto prefixer. So now let's run gulp watch colon styles to run the watch command that we have. And let's go ahead and add some CSS3 properties. For instance, we can use something like flexbox. So we can say display flex, save this. Now, if we head to our CSS, you'll see that we get display and then WebKit uh, box display WebKit hyphen flex, MS flexbox and display flex. So as you can see, it's prefixing our Flexbox for the various WebKit and Microsoft uh, prefixes there. Now with some of these packages, you can actually uh, throw in additional options and things like that. For instance, uh, if you head to the auto prefixer hyphen core, you can see that there are options you can pass in. So for browsers, you can pass in uh, specific browsers or a string like last two versions here. So we can say, Let's come to our gulp file and we would pass this in here via an object and a function. So we can have parentheses, then we have curly brackets. Now the option is browsers. So we could say browsers colon and then last two versions as a string here. And now this string has to be inside of an array like so, that way we could pass it multiple options. And now as you can see, we have auto prefixer uh, looking for only the last two versions of most of the recent browsers. Let's go ahead and actually take off this CSS ring. So we are going to see our CSS in an uncompressed manner. I'm going to cancel this watch command and then rerun it with our new gulp file. Now let's head to our styles, we can save this. And as you can see, things didn't change a ton, but we just don't, we no longer have that WebKit hyphen box, which was an older uh, syntax for a WebKit Flexbox implementation. So as you can see, uh, this, this prefixed code isn't cluttering up our CSS. It's not being filled with things like mixins. We can just type things like uh, border radius and we can say 50% come back here and you can see because border radius is uh, not prefixed in the latest two last two versions of all major browsers it's not getting any sort of prefixing going on but if we were to have something like transform translate x, uh, x and then give this maybe like just 10 pixels or something we can come to our styles and you can see that it is getting the webkit transform here. So it's really awesome because we can just type CSS like this and pretend that these prefixes don't even exist. Now as far as other options go, you can come here to the uh, auto prefixer core GitHub page. And as you can see, some of the options are things like uh, should auto prefixer add prefixes. So even though 
that is the point of sort of this example. Auto prefixer can also remove outdated prefixes from your CSS. So let's say you had a CSS file that was old, that had a bunch of old prefixes, things like border radius, and it's taking up additional extra space that you no longer need in that CSS file. You could be setting remove to true and add to false, and it's going to go through and remove those prefixes that don't fit your browser settings. So we now have auto prefixer set up in our gulp file. And as you can see, it's already saving us a bunch of space in our CSS. We're not defining any mixins. We're not having to do anything special. It's taking care of all of the prefixes for us. And that's amazing. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials, we love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.